good morning how's it going hope you're staying, staying safe and um cootie free we want to be cootie free yes we do let's go into uh some hives and uh, see if we can make something else up here i mean what is it tomorrow's what full moon oh are you gonna you guys gonna howl you should howl on a full moon I like to make my bees up between new moon and full moon, and uh, <clears throat> but normally I do it right at new moon. But we're in between, so we'll see what happens. I don't normally make them this late between the moon phases, but uh, anyway, just for just for fun, we will if we can. We'll see what we got. Uh, we got quite a few hives here we can go into. And let's see if we can make up some more. I've been having a heck of a time. I don't know about you guys, and I don't understand it. What's going on with sugar? Sugar should be as uh, plentiful right now as uh, gasoline, maybe? We don't have any restaurants open, guys. I, I don't know what the donut shops are doing. Uh, we're stockpiling donuts. But uh, I'm, I'm having a heck of a time getting sugar. My regular outfit, uh, they've been out for two weeks. I don't understand that. A, a beekeeper snuck in uh, a day before I got there and bought up a pallet and a half. And they haven't replenished it yet. So anyway, I called around and I went to my regular public store. I went and cried on his shoulder. And I said, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm hurting for sugar. And he felt sorry for a beekeeper. Isn't that something? Uh, somebody in the world that cares about beekeepers. That is so nice. Yeah, I love these kind of people that care for beekeepers. Care about beekeepers. Understand the relationship between man and, you know, insect and food. You know, that little pollination thing, okay? Some people get it, but most don't. I'm not so sure if our government knows what's going on. I really don't. Uh, but anyway, let's not cry in our beer over that. Uh, he made me a good deal on some sugar. He's getting me 100 pounds, and so... Uh, I can get, he's going to call me Thursday, he's going to order up. What he's going to do is order it as he was ordering it for the uh, bakery. And uh, so I'm going to, I'm getting, I'm getting pants about the same price uh, as, as you would off the shelf. They do have normally 25 pound bags, but somebody's scarfing that up. I don't know, is it another beekeeper? Could be, I don't know. But I don't know, I would think that the, We'd just be swimming in sugar right now, like we are gasoline. But that's, maybe I don't understand something. I don't know. But anyway, hopefully I understand bees, and let's see what we can do here. Let's go into our, uh, these, as uh, you recall, is our two, we didn't go into that one yet, since I established that. That's a package B, three pound package. These girls are coming in with all kind of stuff. Let's go in here for giggles and just see what these girls are uh, doing. Uh, we did this on, uh, we did this on 326. We installed that package on 326. So let's, let's go in here. I'm not gonna wear this. I'm gonna try something different today. Uh, I'm not gonna wear the chest strap. Yeah, today is uh, four seven. Today is four seven. So let's get on in here and see what's happening. Let's see how much they've blown this nest up. Be kind of fun to check this out. They're drinking lots of syrup. So right now I've got like a hundred, which isn't a lot of, lot of sugar. I've got like I'm going to have, on, on Thursday I'm going to have like, a, I don't know, 170 pounds in stock. Very nice queen, guys. Very nice queen. She's laying up really well.
there she is right there there she is <laughs> actually this is funny this is the same frame she was on last time I was into this nest exactly the same frame let's go all the way over and see how much she's got doing here she hasn't quite made it she hasn't quite made it to this other side yet Tell you what we can do with this girl right here guys yeah what we can do with this girl right here is put her in I'm gonna steal some resources look at that brood pattern guys check it out Yeah, there's plenty of eggs in here. And what we'll do is a little notching action here. Yeah, I did a little notching there. Let's see what we got over here. We got plenty of eggs in here. I'm gonna get another, uh, we're gonna do a walk away, we're gonna do a walk away split here. I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> I got some uh, string frames here. We're gonna start, we're gonna start utilizing our string frames. I ran out of wax the other day and I went I called Sebastian, my queen breeder, and uh, he had uh, he had some extra wax. He said, how much you need? I said, I'd like to get a couple pounds. He said, no problem, bro. Come and get it. So I took him one of my new two-frame nooks and I took him some of my old uh, mediums. I got a bunch of mediums stacked up over here medium stacked up and uh, I'm kind of phasing out of them but he's a queen breeder and he wants to try to play with that so uh, I fixed him up there so yeah you help each other out wherever you can one farmer helps another you know that's all we're gonna rob from this little baby girl right here okay that's all we're gonna take from her today So this hive is done. I'm not going to fool with it no more. Let's spin around. Here's one of our nooks here. They're really coming in. They're coming in heavy with pollen here. I mean, heavy. So there's some stuff out there. I just loaded this uh, feeder here with Ultra B this morning. It was just about out, but look at them. They're bringing in lots of resources. And that's a beautiful thing for a beekeeper to see. You gotta love it, guys. You just gotta love it. These girls seem to be drinking lots of syrup. Get the smoke out of my face let's see if we can't rob a frame from this one hopefully these are all right who knows Putting up a lot of nectar in here. Let's 
doesn't look promising. Mm -hmm. Lots of nectar, resources. Mm -hmm. No egg laying at all. No egg laying at all, guys. This isn't good. This is not good. Alright, what we're going to do here, I just put that other frame of eggs and stuff, resources in another colony. We have a light one here. This one's fairly light. So what we're gonna do Alright guys, what we're going to do is take the one I just stole from that other colony. It's got eggs, resources in here. This is going in the center of this nest. This is going in the center of this nest. Got a little resources here. We're going to take that and make another colony with it. Don't know what happened to this queen. It happens. Nothing you can do about it. I got to get a I've got to get a pen here. I'll be right back. Yeah, okay guys. Uh, easy math here. I'm going to draw a line through this. We're going to put check, today's 4-7, we're going to check on this on 5-7, simple math, 30 days, 30 days, bye bye, bye bye girls, 30 days, see you in 30 days, what's going on here, 4-16, let's leave it alone. Let's go into this colony right here. Let's go in here and see what kind of resources we got here. That's an excellent queen. That Georgia queen is excellent. This is why in beekeeping, guys, we got to be constantly making more queens. Constantly. All summer long. This whole colony looks very weak here. I grabbed a lot of stuff out of this last time we were in here. Need some honeycomb. Smoker choking me to death. She's laying good.
Yeah, we got a queen right colony here. But she just hasn't built up enough. So she is doing her thing. She just isn't laying it. She just hasn't filled it up much since our last visit. I'm going to turn my brick. I'm going to turn my brick up like this. That means they need sugar. I'm going to turn this brick up. They need sugar. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. All right, let's go around the corner. See what we got over here, if anything. 423. There's a colony down here I wanna check. 423. I wanna go into this little box right here. This one here we got to check on 412. Let's go into this little midget tube frame here. A lot of bees. Okay, we got a we got a queen in here that's just packing the heck out of this thing. So this has got to go into a five framer. Yeah. We gotta get this one in a five framer, guys. Like now. Like now. And I'm not. I got a big piece of bad comb here that they kind of botched it, but I can't. There's too much resources there. We can't be ripping that out. So let me show you what we're going to do. All right, guys, we're going to take this five, right, put it right next door. I got this nice one there.
Okay, this little hive here, this little hive right here, let me move it down a little bit. We did with a queen cell, with a swarming cell, I'm sorry, a swarming cell. Queen right on four seven. Okay, that little old uh, two framer, it'll go back in my stockpile. That little two frame will go back in my stockpile and I'll uh, let these girls keep kicking. We know we got we got a girl in here laying, she's laying good, except she's got some crappy comb in there. But she's laying good. We can't rob nothing from this stuff. Let's go around the horn here and see what we got. All right, we got some uh, bunch of string frames there. I got to start getting that stuff incorporated in here. Let's go into this hive. I broke four six on it. Four six on this hive a little while back. They need syrup bad.
I'm seeing no eggs in here. They got plenty of resource. I'm seeing no eggs in here. I'm going to have to rob a frame. Let's try to get into this colony right here. And see if we can't give them uh, some resources. Okay guys, here's a Yeah, here's a good frame here. Here's a good frame right here. Just make sure their queen isn't on it. No need stealing a queen over here if we're trying to make one over there. She's laying good. She's got a nice pattern here. Put check uh, five seven. Draw a line through it and check five seven to see if it's queen right. We will keep the feet on these religiously. Until they make that sell. I'm going to throw a string frame in this place right here. I'll be right back. You guys keep an eye on the bees while I'm gone. I got a string frame in there. Little testy, not bad.
Let's turn this for this brick looking up. That means I gotta come back and feed them. What else can we check, guys? How about this one right here? It says check five, four, six. That's what we're gonna do. It doesn't look real frisky around the entrance. Who knows? These were all made up with swarm cells. This one's died out, I think. Yeah, this is a dead out. Started drawing comb. No, this had a. Uh, I take that back. We put a Sebastian cell in here. We put a Sebastian cell in this thing. And it hatched. I don't know why I put four six on this hive. I may have I screwed up. Anyway, this one did not make it. Wouldn't enough bees in here anyway. This is a salvage this equipment salvage job. I'm gonna put it like that. Four six down there. Queen right here. Let's go into this queen right colony and see what we got. Make sure she's not on the lid. She isn't. I only gave her the frame she was on. We stole out all this other stuff. This is the colony we robbed all those uh, starters from. So we left it on the original stand. <coughs> We left it on the original stand and we stole everything from her. She's laying a bunch of eggs. Let's leave her alone and let her fatten up this colony. They're drawing it out as you can see. Drawing nicely and laying a crap load of eggs.
she's lying, laying a bunch of eggs, guys. All they need is nectar. Nectar and pollen. Mill pump that thing up. I got this one on the end down here. Let's look at it. I got a frame that's in the sunlight over here. I got to get it out. I'll be right back. stored food. Here's one I didn't mark. We're going to come back on this colony and check it like I'm supposed to on 412. Because that's when we're supposed to be in this colony, not today. Another screw up on my part. This is what happens you get in a hurry and you don't mark your boxes. Put that there. I'm gonna put this brick standing up. I need to come back and feed them. Yeah. So we'll come back on all these on 412 and check them out. And hopefully we're building up some more. And I gotta rob some frames out of here. And I've got a few drawn ones too we got to put in storage. We'll put them in bags and uh, then we'll put them in the deep freeze for one day. Make sure we kill out any uh, wax moth eggs and then get them ready for service. I got to get to that other yard over there. I got some beehives I got to check over there. And uh, I'll get back with you soon. Sorry that one colony didn't make it. That package of bees, that happens. It happens, but that one, that one there is a beauty now, I'm telling you, it is a beauty. I've got to pick up two more packages on the 14th. And hopefully these, some of these hives will blow up and uh, so we can get them on the market, get them sold. If I can even sell them. People are puckered up now right now, they don't want to travel anywhere. 
with this virus, which I understand. So, I may be sitting on a bunch of bees for a while until this virus gets under control to where people want to get out and buy bees and, you know, get motivated here. Uh, here's a really good sign down here, guys. Here's one of our little mating nooks here. The reason I said a good sign, just as I glanced over here, there was bees coming in with pollen on their legs. I saw like three of them come in at one time. So that's always a nice indicator that things are hunky-dory. I think that little two frame is going to work out great for, for putting in swarm cells, you know, and uh, adding queen cells. That's basically all I'm going to do with these, but you got to really watch them close because once they blow up, you're going to, and if they don't have elbow room, she's going to swarm on you. So then you can shift them on into fives, let them blow out the five, almost complete, almost complete, and then throw them in your deep equipment. Get them in that deeper equipment. All right, guys. It's a good day. Every day above ground is a good day, right? And uh, it's getting hot today, 85 degrees. Humidity's not bad, but we'll be into hell heat soon. Yeah, I'll be sweating like a butcher soon. All right, guys, be happy. Stay strong, because we got to keep getting her on. See ya.